Let's take another example for uh, the single source shortest path. Uh, in this algorithm, the source is A. So the distance of source will be 0 and distance of all other vertices will be set as infinite. We will insert all these vertices in the priority queue. So A, B, C, D, E and F are the vertices inserted in the priority queue. <clears throat> these are the vertex vertices and then we will set up the distance distance of a is 0 and distance of every other vertex is set as infinite we will be taking the predecessors also fine so the predecessors are also taken and every vertex has a predecessor nil initially as soon as we will update the distances we will set up the predecessors as well now the minimum cost uh, vertex is deleted so 0 is the minimum cost vertex so this is deleted and then we will see the connections from A so connections from A is A to B and then A to F this distance is 10 so 0 plus 10 10 is less than the earlier distance of B that is infinite so we can update the distance of B as 10 similarly 0 plus 15 we can set up the distance of f as 15 because earlier it was infinite it is less 15 is less than this so we can update the distance so for f the distance has been set as 15 since b and f both the vertices are explored from a so these predecessors will be set as a out of the available distances 10 is the minimum so we will delete this 10 means the b vertex and we'll see the connections from B. So the connections from B are B to C that is 15. Distance of B from source is 10. And distance of C from source will be this 10 plus 15, 25. 25 is less than C or less than C's earlier distance infinite. So we will update this distance as 25. For D, it will be 10 plus 12 that is 22 fine so the distance of t is set as 25 since c and d both have been explored from b so their predecessors will be b now the vertices are or the distances are 25 22 infinite and 15 out of this 15 is the smallest one so delete this one See the connection from F that is F to E that is 10 distance. Let us update this uh, in the table. 15 plus 10 is 25. So distance of E can be set as 25. So E will be distance 25. Fine. Let's delete the minimum one. Oh sorry. The distance of D has been set as uh, sorry E has been set as 25 and E has been explored from F, so the predecessor of E will be set as F. The predecessor of E will be set as F. Now the minimum one is this D. See the dist uh, explore, explore the vertices going from D, D to C. One cost, so 22 plus 1, 23. Earlier distance is 25. Obviously, 23 is less than 25, so it will be updated as 23. So, C's distance is updated as 23. From D to E, this is 22 plus 2, 24. Obviously, this is 25, which is less than, sorry, 24 is less than 25, so its distance will be updated as 24. Now, distance of E has been updated as 24 predecessor of E will be updated as D now and predecessor of C will also be updated as D now. Now we will delete the minimum cost edge which is C23. If you see the connection from C, C to E, it has a cost 5. So 23 plus 5 is 28 which is not less than 24. So if it is not less than 24 we will not update this. Okay, let us delete next one which is E, 24. So this is the only vertex remaining, 
and all the other vertices have been deleted so there will be no updation from this E okay if uh, we are deleting the last vertex there is no other vertex in the queue so obviously there will be no updation incidentally there is no outgoing edge from E as well fine so if there is no outgoing edge there is no question of updation but the fact is that uh, uh, this queue is um, when after deletion of this vertex the queue is becomes empty we will update we will think of updating the vertices only if there is there are some edges some vertices remaining in the queue so what we have achieved from here let's draw this these vertices this is a this is b this is c e f and d distance of a is 0 distance of b is 10 distance of c is 23 distance of e is 24 distance of d is 22 and distance of f is 15 the predecessors will tell you the path to follow a has a predecessor nil B has a predecessor A, it means AB there is an edge. So DC there is an edge. BD there is an edge. BD there is an edge. DE there is an edge. AF there is an edge. Fine. So you see that if you have to go from a to B, the, curve, the distance is 10, minimum distance is 10. A to F, minimum distance is 15. You have to go from this path from A to B. If you have to go to D, then A, B, D is the path. If you have to go to C, A, B, D, C is the path. If you have to go to E, then A, B, D, E is the path. So this way we have found the minimum distance, shortest distance, and we have found the path also, which path to follow. Thank you.